Hello. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I know exactly what this look is. Just without the abs. <laughs> Are you recreating my cover? Does this make oh me a gosh. cover girl too? That should be you on that magazine. Oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Today I am transforming myself into the one and only Olivia Culpo. I am excited. She is here. She is getting ready to teach me. Please welcome Olivia Culpo. Hi. I'm so excited to be on your show. I obviously follow you. I can't believe I'm teaching you how to do a makeup look today because obviously you don't need any help. You know better than anyone. So this is a lot of pressure for me, but I really hope that I don't let you down. Oh my gosh, but I'm so excited because if you guys already know, I wear so much makeup, I wear a cake face, but during this quarantine and during this mask wearing era, you know, it's time to just kind of like do a little bit of a light, but that, I don't know how to do that. So that's why I have her here on my channel. And today's video is sponsored by Crest uh, to showcase their new Crest whitening emulsions because they have been whitening my teeth since high school and one of the most iconic smiles I know comes from Olivia Culpo. So I'm here to learn a natural slade beat because you have graced the runways, the shows, the pageants, the whole nine. You are a true <laughs> iconic fashionista, beauty entrepreneur. So oh, I'm ready to learn from you. You are just so gorgeous and I'm obsessed with your cheekbones, your smile, your lips, your brows. But I just want to know how to get the iconic Olivia Culpo snatch from you. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I have all of my stuff here. It's all laid out. I'm ready to go. We're gonna do my signature bronzy dewy face with a cat eye. So it's gonna be super natural. And of course, we're gonna start out with our crest whitening emulsions, which are super easy, take two seconds. So we'll go back and forth. And I know you love the product as well. So we'll explain how to use that really quickly. That will complete our look. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So if you guys wanna see how we get this look, don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. And don't forget that makeup is a one size fits all. All right guys, I took off my makeup and I'm so excited to transform into Olivia Culpo so you guys can learn how to get real girl natural beat techniques. Olivia Culpo, take it away. <laughs> okay, I am so excited. We're gonna do my signature bronzy dewy look with a black liquid eyeliner. We're gonna use your eyeliner, but before we get started, we're going to use our crest whitening emulsions with the wand, which I know you're also a huge fan of. So we just open the bottle, use the little ribbon applicator, put it on the wand. Guys, I have been loving this. If you guys have not checked this out, it is literally brand new. This is the new Crest Whitening Emulsions. It sounds fancy, but it is so easy. This little thing right here comes with a little <laughs> stand and sits on my vanity. So right before I do my makeup, my teeth get white in seconds. It has this beautiful whitening applicator and it has like a little ribbon dispenser. You can see the little, the little dispenser right here. You apply it liberally and guys, I know as we like to get beautified, this is so easy, great for sensitive teeth, whitens your teeth in seconds, and you don't have to rinse this at all. And I'm obsessed with it, and you wanna apply it vertically, like per tooth, and this little applicator is literally the size of your teeth. And then I literally do my makeup, and it's just so easy, and it's so, so, so good. I have been using this, and guys, look. So, so Your good. smile looks amazing. And also I love it because you can get to all the harder places on your teeth, like anything closer to the gum, so much easier than anything I've ever used to be completely honest with you. Right girl, now that my teeth yeah. is shining, shining, girl, what do we do to get this iconic Olivia Copo face? Okay, I'm trying to be you. <laughs> Videoing and doing my makeup at the same time is not my like, expertise, so we're gonna do this and we're gonna see what happens. Guys, we have been texting. I feel like I'm friends with Olivia Culpo and I literally- You literally are my friend. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we literally exchanged like our, our makeup uh, stuff. So I sent her some of mine, she sent me some of hers and I want to do this video because as you guys know, I have a full face of makeup all the time, but I've never really had lessons from a real working woman in the industry on how to get their iconic face. I'm literally watching and copying you 
that way I can learn because I'm a very all or nothing type of girl, but I've been trying to like execute this easy face on the go and just watching your content and you just everywhere from gracing the covers of magazines to the runways, to photo shoots, to television, to interviews and press. It's just crazy to see you just go, 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 go. And I know you do have a glam team, but I'm sure like, you know your face coming from the pageant world as well. You know how to glam from head to toe and it's just so inspirational. So I'm here to learn from you. Well, oh my gosh, I could I could take a lesson from you. I definitely think you could teach me so much. Actually, you do teach me so much. So I'm gonna try my best here. So for me, it's really about covering redness and any sort of zits or breakouts and then like creating a glow and doing this. So like that's why with this first step with the concealer, I go around the nose because I'm usually really red there. I go like around the mouth a little bit because I can have a little bit of hyperpigmentation there from the sun probably. I do like an upside down triangle under my eyes with the concealer. And then I just take my beauty blender and I kind of like blend all of that in. It's so crazy because I normally start with foundation first. I think this is kind of like the trick to getting that like natural looking face, especially when you don't want to wear so much makeup and just want to be on the go. I feel like this is faster for me. And also I try to achieve that like natural, I try to look as natural as like is possible. So I think the concealer for me is sometimes all that I'll wear with maybe just like covering my spots with like a heavier concealer, like this clay de peau. Other times I will use a, a foundation, but I don't, I try not to use a lot of it. And then I try to also like balance it out with a face mist. What's next, Olivia Colpo? Let's go in with our other other concealer to cover like our spots. Like for example, I have a I have a pimple right here. So I like to cover up all of like my little spots and blemishes and then okay. do the foundation because that gives me an idea of like how much foundation I actually need because I feel like that's what keeps it more like dewy and just kind of like effortless if you're not like caking on the foundation and sometimes you can let your like natural skin shine through like you have such beautiful skin so you can like let your natural skin shine through you do <laughs> shine through <laughs> and like only use the con use the foundation where you like really 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 need it and still keep that like natural skin feel. Being a beauty connoisseur and icon to millions of people, where do you say you learned all of these tips and tricks to get the iconic Olivia Culpo beat? Oh, I honestly, I am obsessed with makeup. I have always been infatuated with trying different looks, trying different products. So I feel like that's where a lot of it comes from. And then also people like you and makeup artists that I work with every day. It's like cooking, for example, like if you love cooking, you're gonna be good at it. Like you're going to figure out how to make delicious food. If you don't like it, then you're gonna be bad. I feel like makeup is the same way. It's like, you've gotta be passionate about the transition and the transformation. I've always loved that. Like I live for every movie where there's like a before and after of a girl or a guy. Like I just like love it. I live for it. Okay, perfect. So I feel like I'm at a good place with my like pimples and stuff. Are you? Yeah. Let's move on to our foundation. Now, do you go for like a liquid foundation or are you more of a cream? Cause we used a little bit of like a liquid concealer. Yeah, I use a liquid and then I use a cream concealer for the spots. And then I use a cream based foundation as well. Girl, I see you like use your fingers too. Like, is that is that your gig? Oh, I like, always use my fingers. Really? Yeah, I always use my middle finger. I don't know why, but for me, I just feel like I can really get into the spots. So shall we move on to bronzer? Yeah, like girl, this skin is, it doesn't feel as heavy as like my routine because I'll use like a liquid and then I use a cream and then your skin looks glowy and I feel like this looks pretty decent, I think in, in terms of coverage. So I'm ready to move on. Okay, so we are going to use a bronzer. I use a pretty large brush for this just to like really bronze a lot of the face. Like I don't really think of this as a contour as much as just like a healthy, warm glow. Like that's my goal. I actually feel like a lot of people will say that, oh my gosh, Olivia's cheeks, whoa, 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 what'd you do? I do have a very like, I hate to say it, but it's kind of like a gaunt face <laughs> sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I try to avoid the contour. I just don't need it. Like everyone in my family has 
the same bone structure. And if we do the contour, we look skeletal. It's just not a good look. Let me ask, girl, because you know, I normally set my under eyes. Do you normally set after bronzer or at all? Yeah, we're gonna get to that because sometimes at the end I'll do like a little like extra under eye moment thing. But no, I usually set every, everything at the end because I use a liquid highlighter. So I don't like to get that in the way of the under eye um, powder. Also like in between steps, so like after this bronzing, I'm gonna like liberally apply a face mist. And that's how you kind of like get the do. So like I just wait for the powder until the absolute end. What? I have never yeah. done this before. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing makeup yeah. for a long time, but I think I've been so addicted to baking yeah. uh, my face all the time, but that's just like in my habit. So this, I've yeah. always wondered how to get that glow. And I normally get my glow from like powder highlighters, powder, uh, luminous powders, because I have porous skin and textured skin and hyperpigmentation. So I'm like a powder person. So I think it's really interesting that we're doing kind of like a sandwich of like liquids in between like foundation and bronzer. That is so, come on tips. Now that we bronze, we are going to spray with a setting spray, hydrating spray, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm really gonna let that like do its thing. It feels so good too. I love that feeling. Also, by the way, what I'm doing right now is since we just sprayed, like I'm going back in with my creamier concealer and I'm just like seeing if I need to go over any spots. So that's the thing, like I'm all about like spot treatment instead of like all over the face covering, like more like, where do I really need like the heavier handed stuff? Okay. So yeah, you have amazing brows. So there's no secret to your brows at all. Like, do you wax them? Do you um, pluck them? Do you do them yourself? Oh my God, I'll try to do them myself. But you know, if it's not the magic of makeup with concealer, cause sometimes I normally get my brows done and waxed. I can't like, I do not want to ruin my shape if I do them myself because I go a little bit crazy cause I just don't know, like I'm not a professional on my brows, so, but I can do it with my makeup, but this is literally so easy. I honestly want to reapply the Crest Whitening Emulsion, so I was like, you see instant results. It's kind of like the most satisfying thing ever. It like is perfect for a beauty routine. Love! Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a pencil and we're just gonna like just cover like the bald spot. So I usually cover like right up here on this one. I mean, it's not a bald spot, but it's just like, you know, where it's a little less intense, but I just don't ever want them to look too filled in. It's so funny because I'm starting to see with your makeup routine versus my makeup routine, like you literally do concealer before foundation and then like cover what you need. Like I normally do brow gel after the pencil, but you do it the reverse. So you just like cover like what you need. Yeah. And I think it's a great way to save on product, but also, you know, not do the most. Cause I just do the most because I get so much uh, makeup and I want to try everything. So I just want to like kick it on my face. But I think it's so awesome to kind of see your kind of routine. And this Aww. is, I think I'm gonna start doing my brows like this too. Cause it's, it's a lot faster. Cool, what's next? Next, ooh, ooh, okay. Next we're gonna do eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, this is another pretty interesting thing that I think you're gonna love. I just take like a fluffy brush like this and I take a bronzer. Mm -hmm. So my eyeshadow is just a bronzer. Okay. I actually use a, a bronzer that's a little bit darker than my um, natural shade. Oh my gosh, yeah. We're, we're like twinning. That's totally <laughs> it. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you have the, the right one. So we're obviously just gonna go in the crease and we're just gonna do like the windshield wiper vibe right in the crease, concentrating mostly on the outer crease edge. Sometimes I'll even take my finger and put it in the bronzer. So I'll go like this with my middle finger rub it in the bronzer, rub the other one, make it go like this, and then I go like this. Did you do it? And now just dab it like your finger painting on your eyelid. Sometimes actually, honestly, using your thumb works even better, but it just creates like a little bit of dimension on the eye, but it's nothing crazy. Wait, how do you use your thumbs? So I just go like this. Wait, shut up. This is, this is how you, oh my God. Yeah. You are literally. Finger painting? This, I'm finger this painting. This is the epitome, <laughs> finger painting and the epitome of effortless. Like, oh my God. Now you're gonna see all these beauty gurus going like this. <laughs> it's such a fun trick. Yeah, just close your eyes, dab. It To me, like sometimes just using your fingers 
creates this more natural thing because you just have to apply but just you know what? where this you are. This is so easy though. I feel like I feel like my mom can do this. This would probably work really great with shimmer as well. Oh yeah. If you want to get that highlight on the lid. I would never not be able to use my finger for like a shimmer because I also feel like when you use your finger, it doesn't transfer. So like when you know like with the brush, sometimes it will transfer down into the lower eye. Like I hate that. So this kind of just like puts it where it's supposed to be and it stays there. So that's what works for me. And another yeah. reason why I love this too for like my signature look is because obviously this look is gonna be about the dewiness, the freshness, the blush, the highlight, and the liquid eyeliner. So like you don't really wanna take away oh. and, and do too much on the eyes because we're trying to keep it about like oh, the okay. freshness. Shall we start with our liquid liner? Yes. Okay. Deep breaths, everyone. Have your Q-tips on hand. I'm just kidding. Actually, for my <laughs> liner, I just do like a really thin line just on the edges of obviously each eye. I don't do anything dramatic. I don't do a huge baseline. I'll do one to show you and I'm using your bodacious black liner. Point made. Yes. And I love this tip. It's a felt tip, which I think is amazing. So I just pull Good, the perfect. eye. I go to the last like quarter of the eye and I always like pull back the eye so that you can see. Oh. And then like, I always start okay. small and then I'll like slowly, slowly add more. But like, I really did not touch like the inner corner at all. I literally started at the outer one quarter of the eyelid and then went out about another quarter inch. Well, let's move on to our liquid mm. highlighter. So I just take, I'm just taking my highlighter again. I'm using my fingers, but honestly, it's because the top of mine ah. broke. Oh, but I want to be just like you. So should I break mine too? <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. Then we'd be real with twins. I'm gonna just apply like above the cheekbone. Like this is my favorite part, by the way. And then I always put a little bit on the tip of my nose. And then I also put it on the, what's this thing called again? <laughs> The Cupid's bow. The Cupid's bow, yeah. So then I go in with just a like stipling brush and I blend that all in. Oh, I see what you mean because this wouldn't get in, like disrupted by the powder because had I baked before, it would have like been a little bit cakey with the powder and the bake and so liquid on liquid is like a good Yeah, trick. yeah, exactly. If you guys want to get this dewy look, like keep your liquids together and keep your like powders together. I think with the exception of like the bronzer because you know, it kind of blends in and sets like the foundation. But at first I was so scared like not setting, but I think throughout, if you want to get the most natural look, you guys can, like what I'm learning from Olivia is like, you know, stippling and like finger painting in between to get the most natural look, which I think is so different that I want to start applying to my routine. Instead yes. of creating like an entirely new canvas, you're kind of just like picking literally with your finger, like the spots that you want to go through. And then also I'll take a little bit on my finger of the leftover and I'll just put it in the corner of each eye. My nails are a little bit long, so I'm gonna get a little bit of a little brush. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't poke your eye out. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, next we're gonna move on to blush. So what I do is I literally just like poke around on everything. <laughs> but I just smile and I just like gently dab up, going up, and then I do it again. It's like poke around, smile. And this kind of like sets that liquid highlighter, which is interesting. I never really thought about that. And to be honest with you, like I never really started wearing blush until recently, but I've realized that it just creates like a really fresh, dewy face. Like to me, it it just mm. kind of like adds a little bit of youth and vitality to like the face. Oh, I like it. You look so cute. Next, we're gonna go in with our powder highlight, and we're just gonna like quickly go mm. over our cheekbone area. And you go for more like a like a gold? Like a gold or silver, but I honestly just use all three of these. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But like heavier on the gold side. Cheekbone, a little bit on the tip of the nose, and then also on the clavicle and the shoulder blade. And then I'm sure you already guessed this, but when we're done with this, we're gonna go in for our spray and we're gonna do another spray. I love the highlighting trick that you do because like foundation, liquid highlighter, setting it with blush, and then powder highlighter is literally- You're I'm so this glowy. Open. It doesn't feel like it's like, thank you. You are too. Like, I I'm, love like, it. Once I get my little outfit, I'll, I'll do my clavicle and my shoulders too. Okay, perfect. So next we're going to move on to lips. We're going to use a lip glow 
in a nice pinky shade. And this is the kind of lip that will like change color according to your temperature. And then my trick also with this after it's applied, if you have a Kleenex or a napkin, you just take it and you kind of blot. So like you're just getting like as much as you need and pressing it into the lip to create a really nice stain. My favorite part that I've been trying to like dial back on because honestly my stylist told me that I've been Ooh. wearing too much lip liner is lip liner. So this is my favorite part, but in an effort to keep my look more like fresh and dewy and um, I guess less made up, I've been trying not to go as heavy with it. We're in this together, Patrick. Let's see what we can do. So like, we're not gonna overline as much as you can avoid it. It's just kind of creating like mm. a natural little lip barrier. Girl, you've been hitting me with the Uno reverse card this whole time. She said concealer before foundation, brow gel before pencil, <laughs> and lip product before liner. It's literally so different than what I'm used to. It is so different. So the reason why I do the liner after the lip product is the exact same reason why I do the, the pencil after the brow gel. It's like I'm just using it where I need my lips to be bordered. Me personally with my lips, I need a little bit more shape in the middle near the cute it's bow, but like underneath, I really don't need that much, but just to create like the outline mm. of the top of the lip, like that always looks nice, but like you don't really know what you need until you put on the lips. Yeah, I think for anybody watching at home, I think it's always important to kind of like find like your favorite features that you want to enhance. Like for me, it's like my whole face, but for someone like Olivia Coppo, like I think like, you know, you didn't do too much on the brows, like your eyeliner was something that you wanted to do and like your lips. And I think if you pick like, I think almost similar to fashion, if you pick some statement pieces, but for your makeup, it kind of like makes your makeup look, your natural makeup look or your full glam makeup look more unique and more custom to your face. So I, I love that. So next we have mascara. I don't like to use a lot. So to avoid over applying, I use a spoolie and I just kind of rub it on the mascara applicator and then I concentrate on the base of the eyelash and then just like slightly go out. But I usually don't do too much on the on the ends of the eyelash because I really want the focus to be more on the liner as opposed to like the dimension that the eyelashes gives. Very cute, very fun, very flirty. Okay, so next we're gonna set with a translucent powder and then we're done. Yes. Then, I've been waiting for you to set this face, girl, because I, I, I was like, I hope she sets her makeup. No, Don't but I worry. think setting is, is customary to depending on your skin type and what you like, but I love the glow, but I think for me personally, for all my oily girls out there or sweaty girls, setting is yeah. a mess. So show me how Olivia Coppo sets her face. Okay, so I just take mm -hmm. a little bit of the product and I pour it into the cap, and then I use a sponge like this one, always. I used to use my other sponge, but now I use the actual applicator that actually puffs comes with the product. Puff, puff, exactly, it's puff. Okay. Because I found that this is actually way better at like really getting into the fine line. So we're gonna just do this on the, for me, like my area that I always like to get to is like around the nose and like the spile lines because I really want to okay. soften any sort of pigmentation, shadow, line. And it's actually, it's so satisfying too. Also, when it comes to baking, I think it depends on what type of product you use, if the concealer is more heavy duty or if it really lasts a long time. So I think with the products that we use, using a combination of liquid and cream, I think for those of you watching at home, I think it's nice to kind of set according to what you want to set. So I think with what you use, I think this kind of lighter bake kind of works, but bake as you will. Okay, so we completed the look. Now, um, oh. I wanna see your outfit. I'm gonna take these clips out of my hair when you come back. And then also if you have little gold hoops, I, you should wear those too. So there will be twins. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and change and I'll be right back for the finished look. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love it, oh my gosh. <laughs> You look just like me. Guys, this look feels so fresh, so dewy. I literally am getting my life as Patrick Culpo with this same top. I feel like a fashionista, entrepreneur with this look. And I learned so much from the outer wing to the application. It's pretty much like the Uno reverse card of my makeup routine. And I am so obsessed with the look. So thank you so much. Jokes aside, I am honored that you actually took the time to do my look. That's very flattering because I mean, of all the looks in the world you could do, 
you decided to do mine and that's a huge deal for me because obviously you are a legend. So thank oh, you. Thank you. And I think you look so cute. I love it. Yes, and I think we should touch up our teeth one more time because our teeth look so good. So the new Crest Whitening Emulsions comes with a vanity version, but there's also an on-the-go version, which I can just yes. throw in my bag because I know you got places to go people will see. This is so easy. There's a beautiful little applicator. So if you don't have this, you can just do this. And I feel like my teeth just got whiter throughout oh, the yeah. whole tutorial process. And this is just so easy. All right, everyone, that is the finished look with Olivia Kupo. Thank you so much for coming here on my channel and showing the kids how it's done as a fashion entrepreneur, beauty mogul. I am so honored to have learned some tips and tricks from you that I will start to incorporate in my everyday routine to get this iconic, beautiful look. I had so much fun today with you. Thank you so much. This was so, so, so fun. I love the look, everyone watching. Tell us what you want us to do next because now that we've done this, we should definitely do it again. I want to do one of your looks now next. Okay. Oh my gosh, literally, <laughs> we'll glam you out, we'll drag you in, whatever you want. Be sure to follow Olivia Culpo everywhere on social media. Check her out, follow her. She is legit a fashion beauty icon to me. Follow her journey, follow me here on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, all the above. And if you guys want to see more looks like this, comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. Don't forget, makeup is a one size fits all. I love you so much and hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.